Well, that? guess what? We're in Florida. And it's 85 degrees here. In December. In December, yeah. About the middle of December. So it's a beautiful, beautiful day here. We're in Titusville, Florida. At the Great Outdoors RV and Golf Resort. Beautiful place. It's a great place. It's something that I don't think there's anything close to what we're going to show you. You get off at exit 215 and then you go west on Highway 50 about a mile and then you'll see the big arches that says the Great Outdoor RV uh, Golf Resort. So it's uh, very easy to get to, very Ooh. simple. It's a 24-hour band guard house where you check in when you first get here. Okay. That's what we're going to do. Got her done. Working on it. Say hi. Hey, say hi. Nice day. The road coming into the resort is about a two mile drive in and we're shown coming up to the first little intersection here. We're going to go straight and head towards the Welcome Center. Right here at this intersection, you take a left and um, here you'll see the sign. Talks about no, no motorcycles back here. And RV check-in is this way. And, and wait a minute, let's look at this alligator. Oh yeah, we've got a big alligator right here. Look at this big boy. Ooh. <laughs> hey buddy. <laughs> oh, he's probably uh, 18. Yeah, signs for check-in, the pro shop. office and the check-in if you're going to stay in the resort. This place is so unique that it's just about everything you'd ever want or ever need. They have RV pads here, they have ports, they have park models, they have villas and they have homes all sizes that the garage is big enough to have your motorhome in, your cars and whatever other toys you want to play with. All your toys. Look at the Florida trees. Wow. There's all a, the moss. A lot of moss up there. Very pretty, but they say they have they hold ticks. Is that true? Ticks are bed bugs. They used to <laughs> they used to use them for mattresses. I know all that stuff. So I'm glad we weren't uh, in that mess back then. Back in the day. This is on the main drag. It's called Plantation, and it goes the entire distance around the resort. And this area, they have park model homes. They're like a trailer, but uh, extended roofs and stuff, right? Right. Some are single, some are double, all different varieties. Here's some more ports. They uh, have a little living type facility and the RV goes undercover. This, uh, this place is laid out very unique. Uh, there are a total of 1,600 
sites, whether that's a home site or an RV site or whatever, but there's 1,600 in here. So a lot of people in here just have the golf carts and they ride around the golf carts to go do what they have to do or want to do. The street's wind song. Very nice street. And now the other part of um, the same street is um, they're a little bungalow type residence where you can have uh, your coach under roof and you can have a kitchen and uh, an office area. And a bedroom. And a bedroom. And a bedroom. Okay. The street is called Twin Lakes. There's a lake on either side behind the homes. And these are some of the older homes. are the cutest thing. Most of them are single bedroom. I think some of them have two bedroom with a full kitchen and a living area. And uh, on this side, they have a nice view of the lake. the lake and hole number two. Ideal for when you're not playing golf or traveling or anything. Uh, very cute little house, not much upkeep. And most of them don't have motorhomes. This part is called Addison Preserve. And we're on a street called Panacea. These basically are, these are homes for the non-RVer. These were, this was the last area to be built and uh, just got finished out, what, uh, two years ago? Very attractive. Yeah, nice little homes, retirement home, like, like Sue said. Hidden Lakes. This is a gated community and I would call it upscale. I would think so. It's uh, these are some big homes in here, and the reason they're pretty big, two things, uh, people like big houses, some of them, and the other thing is your RV goes inside the garages, so the roof lines and, and what you're about to see here are a little different than uh, other places. And one thing about this little community right here, you're allowed to have motorcycles. Yeah, and that's a plus because uh, they're banned from the rest of the park. Motorcycles uh, are exclusively in this area. Now, you can have one here, but it has to stay in the storage lots. You're not allowed to take it back in the rest of the park, so it makes it kind of nice. In fact, um, when this thing was being built right here, many of the people from over on the other side bought it just because they wanted to bring their motorcycle. It's a beautiful home here. He's got a big H model in that garage of his. Plus he's got a swimming pool out and back, so it's a beautiful setup. This is interesting. Notice the clock out here in the yard. He's a, he's a clock guy. He's a clock guy, and that clock is supposed to be on, what do they call it, an atomic uh, time? You'll notice this house has the garage right here that you're looking at, and to the left of the two-car garage is a big RV garage. So those RVs will go in there. It's a 16-foot door, or 14-foot door, I think. And then uh, the length of the house here, you'll see it fits. So some of them are like 45, 50 footers, and some of them are 80 footers. So different houses have different size RV garages and size of house, period. They're all custom built. Yes. It's a 
nice cul-de-sac right here and uh, some nice homes. Okay, Sue and I are uh, sitting in a golf cart and we are going to go around now uh, to show you the church, the restaurant, and the exciting points to this, uh, to this RV park. The Great Outdoors Community Church is a unique church. It was started way back when the resort started and Enough money was collected to build the church be and have it all paid for by the time they were ready to use it. It's a non-denominational church. They have a, a choir and they now just recently started a bell choir. Lots and lots of talent. place has its own golf cart sales and service area. New, used, and uh, trade-ins. It's called Golf Carts Unlimited. It's a nice, friendly place. They do a great job. As you can see, they've got a lot of, a lot of new carts sitting out here. And uh, they're all for sale. Here we are coming on a place called the Manor. Um, it's a large facility that's used for all kinds of things like bingo, movies, parties, weddings, receptions, that type of thing. This is inside the plantation manor and uh, we didn't know it but tomorrow they're having a like a flea market thing for, so people can bring stuff up here and donate it and all the profits for the nature center doesn't make any difference but uh, it's quite a selection in here it's a good event big event and then they've got the stage, that's the stage where they have entertainment. They put on all kinds of shows. It's, uh, it's quite a, a nice uh, operation right here. This is Eagle's Pride. Um, they work on motor homes here. Warranty work, or if you have an issue with your coach and you need a good group of people to work on it, they do that right here including body work. So they have a body shop in here and uh, all the accessories, odds and ends and stuff that you may need. And we'll take you inside the building and let you see that. This is Eagle's Pride's RV sales and service. And they also have the mechanical shop, which we just showed you a little bit ago, but you can bring your RV up here and put it on consignment and they will sell it for you. So it is, it's one stop shopping here at the Great Outdoors for RV and things uh, you might need. Fifth wheels, all kinds of stuff. So now we'll go in and see what's inside. Is this uh, the RV place? And you're the boss? I'm the big boss. You are the boss. Yes, sir. Okay. This is the back of the manor, and they have a big swimming pool here. Very nice pool, and there's even people in it. How's that? They offer uh, swimming classes. Aerobics, yeah, yeah aerobics. And every good resort needs a full-size gym, right? Fitness center? 
Yeah, so if you open the door, honey, I'll just uh, walk in there with you and we'll see what's here. A lot of people in here working hard. Wow. Nothing better. Nothing better. Who, who, who is complaining already? Here we have pickleball court. It's, it's become a really popular sport. Here we go with the tennis court. Nice big new ones they've been recently remodeled. There's an awful lot of activities here. We're walking up to a shuffleboard court now and you'll see there are people playing. It's a great day to play. It's not real warm and it's a great temperature. It's a championship right now and these people are playing for all the marbles and we're going to see what happens. Or a doggy world. That's where all the dogs get together. They get... Some of them got four legs and some of them have two. I thought, I thought this was supposed to be doggy world, but all the adults are out here. Who's watching who's... Who's watching whose dog? Socialization. Yeah. Boy, you knocked a rake down and everything. How are you dogs? You're, you're, a, you're a loud mouth, that one. Got a beautiful day. Here's your little doggy wash station so you can actually bathe the dog. There's a beautiful 18 hole golf course. It's in great shape. We play it often and it's been voted best in the area. Is that what it is? Wow. That's uh that's quite a deal. Okay, this is the practice area for the golf course. And this area here is the chipping area. And right now it's not being used by too many people, but this is the chipping area. Then we come around over here and they have a driving range, and the driving range is an aqua driving range. Here's hole number one. It's an 18 hole golf course in great shape, one of the best in this part of Florida. It's very nice. The course is in excellent shape. We will take you around and try to show you a few holes of what the course is like. Now we're coming to uh, 150 yard marker, which you're gonna see there's water up here prior to getting to the green. And as we turn around a little bit to the right, uh, you're gonna see this big pond over here. Uh, it's, it's tough, it's only probably 30 yards wide in a landing area prior to getting to the green. This is number eight, par three. This is hole number 11, and it is a par three, and it's across the water. So, it's a nice shot if your ball don't get wet. This is hole 17, and the tee box is back there, um, probably, probably 100, 125 yards. And then we're up to date right here where there's some people going to hit that ball. And the green is right up there, if you can see the white flag. So it gets kind of narrow. There's water up there on the right by the green. This is number 18, and uh, here's where it comes up, and there's the green right across the lake there. The course is in great shape. Christmas parade with the golf carts. We've got a bunch of them here, and it's really nice to see, and it's a beautiful evening. Uh, we've even got two Santa Clauses 
they are going to be here and passing out candy. Well, we're in the coach today because it's miserable outside. It's cool, real cool, and raining. I need my long john. You're a Florida girl. <laughs> I am. You know, to to grade this resort uh, from one to ten, it's off the charts. It's impossible. There's so much to do here, and uh, it's way above a ten. So we're going to have to do a part two video of the Great Outdoors Resort. Yeah, uh, the resort will be touched, but the main thing is we want to show you Titusville. We want to show you the Space Coast area, because that's what it's called. For example, Cape Kennedy, right here, right across, right across the water. Beautiful place to watch launches. And there's a lot of rockets going up all the time, sending satellites all over the place. And if there's a U.S. manned shuttle, it's done right here. Right here. Great shots to see. Night launches are gorgeous. I know you like those I night, do. and they are beautiful. Even so, in the middle of the night. So I think we got some on film that we're going to be able to uh, to share with you this uh, this next video. So just as a reminder, please don't forget subscribe to us, and we'll see you guys down the road. And the main thing is. Stay safe.